Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to remove the water tank on your Kenwood American style fridge freezer. This particular model is really good because it's got a water tank built within the fridge. You don't actually have to have it plumbed into any pipe work. But this does mean that it does need cleaning every now and again. Now they recommend you only put water in it. Don't ever put things in like lemonade or milk because it will get really dirty. Only ever use water. Now I don't drink nearly enough water. I drink lots of tea and occasionally some beer. <laughs> but I should drink more water. So today we're just gonna be removing the entire water tank and just giving it a flush through. Now I recommend before you remove it that you drain all the water out of it. You don't actually have to do this, but it just makes it easier. So if it's not empty, just empty it into a suitable container. There's a link above now about how to turn on the child lock on this particular Kenwood fridge freezer. That's really useful because you don't want people coming up and accidentally changing all the settings. Water tank is now almost completely empty. Now in this water tank, you've got a spout which goes down inside here and that goes to the water dispenser on the front. So just be mindful of that when you're pulling the container out. Now in the manual, it tells you to lift it upwards, but actually you're lifting it upwards and sort of diagonally towards you. And I'll show you the brackets when I've actually removed it. What to do is get a really good grip on both sides. Push it upwards and slightly towards you at an angle and it should just pop out and the spout underneath should just slide out. There we go. Fantastic. And you can see those brackets on the side at a slight angle. So you're not lifting it straight up, you're lifting it kind of outwards. And that is where the water goes down to the water dispenser at the front. And that's handy. The instructions for removing it are behind the thing that we've just removed. So you can't read it. <laughs> Brilliant. If the water tank has started going a little bit mouldy inside, what you can do is actually remove the lid. That gives you access to be able to wash it up with some hot soapy water and a sponge. So if you just pull the lid up on one side, and then pull it up at the other end as well. There we go, fabulous. So if you've got bits of dirt and mold inside here, you can just give that a good clean in your sink. You can either use hot soapy water and a sponge or just some hot water, depending on how dirty it is. This one's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to give it a quick rinse with some hot water. Then to put the lid back on, just line it up with the grooves. Gently push it down all the way around. So it just clips into place. Now if you want to flush the nozzle out, you can literally just squirt it like this, like a cow's udder. <laughs> so if you put some hot water in there, and then squeeze that udder system. You can flush some hot water through there to give that a clean. You can actually unscrew that mechanism if you want to, so that you can give that a good clean inside with the toothbrush. And now we're ready to put the water tank back in the fridge freezer. So you can see the brackets here are at a slight angle, and this is where it slides downwards. Make sure you line up that spout into the hole before you line it up with the brackets on either side. So get, make sure that spout is in the hole. You were a matron. <laughs> Sid James would have uh, cracked a joke there. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. And just pull it down and it should just click into place. Fantastic. Now we're ready to fill it up with some filtered water. Now I find the easiest way to do this is just use a funnel. You don't have to use a funnel, but it just saves you spilling it all over the place. And if you've only got a big container, the access might still be difficult. So what you can do is you can just remove the tray above. That literally just slides upwards. And with that removed, that gives you much easier access to fill up the water container. Well, 
Right, I'm just going to put the lid back on. That literally just slots into those grooves there and it's a slight turn clockwise and then twist. That locks into place. Remember to put the upper tray back in. Put it higher than it needs to be and then lower it down onto the grooves. And that just slots into place. And then we're ready to test it out. You should drink about two litres of water a day, probably more if you live in a hot country, but our country is pretty cold, so I just like to drink lots and lots of tea. I hope you found that useful. Up here is a link on how to fix your sticking curtains on the curtain rails. Really good tip. And over on this side, a video on how to defrost your freezer in under 15 minutes. Thanks for visiting my channel everyone, I really, really appreciate it.